Xavier Nosito, our next competitor out of Ninja Mania, eight years of experience. He is recovering from a shoulder surgery, and recently he has been forced to do everything in lock off. Now, that isn't phasing him here on the force right now because he is wow, steamrolling through these first five obstacles. Yeah, definitely one of our taller competitors. He says he's six foot five, but now he is a T-Rex. After uh Libri, that was his words. Oh my goodness, the hop! Wow! Yeah, he's six going. foot five inch wingspan right there for Xavier. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that gonna be the fastest time? Let's take a look at that again. Honestly, he didn't even look like he was hurting. He just crushed this course. Link to the last shades. The efficient moves where it counted. And that is going to be a run. Going to top our leaderboard. Whether it's first or second, let's give it a look. Wow! First place for Xavier. He has overtaken Julian McConnell. That is incredible. And up next, we're gonna have Xavier Nosito. Yeah, Xavier Nosito, I believe, is our top star here. The name to remember. He was actually our fastest finisher here on the course today. During yeah, the full round, let's see how he can do on the challenge round. Definitely and some high game. expectations. Again, coming out of Team Ninja Mania, finished the flow course in 42.83 seconds. Of course, if he wants to be first outright, he wants to just blow this out of the water, would have to complete all 14 obstacles in less than 2 minutes 57 seconds. So if he can pull that off, he will be our leader. Giving the ref the thumbs up. He's ready to go. Oh, he was the first obstacle with ease, just gliding his way across the pole graspers. Yep, just monkey barring across, going into that captain's wheel. Looking very smooth up to this point. Nicely done. Seems to be focused on the big prize. Oh, beautiful. Just glided across that track. He wants that win. And he's up here on the up for grabs, looking to grab onto that axe. Got a great grab. And our top superstar here. Oh, nice. Didn't need any fancy skips or any monkey business. He's just moving on. Making really good time here up to the cliffhangers. Well over two minutes remaining. Going so smooth. Not, not doing anything too crazy, but you don't need to. A quick breather before the maker steps. Slickly gliding his way across the course. Look at Xavier go. Xavier have to under cling onto these backwards boards. Just it's so efficient. Redirects himself just grabbing onto the bar. Deja vu with 90 seconds on the clock. Gonna drop down. Something to behold. The cannonballs. Let me get through this. 
a clean run of this obstacle would be huge. He's done it! A minute to go, plenty of time to score that clear. He's through, running on over to the top hats. Is he gonna need those top hats? Oh, what's he have in his pockets? Maybe a little bit of chalk? Chalking up here. Flapping his pants. Gonna flip onto those thin little hockey pucks. Doesn't even need them. Over 30 seconds remaining here on the Angry Birds, looking to finish here. Can he bring it home? He's got a good grab. He's got his game face on. Xavier Nocito scores a clear on the challenge course. This run was perfection. Didn't need any retries. Didn't have any big slip ups. He knew what he needed to do. And he did it so well. He's going to climb up high to the leaderboard into first place. And Callum. First place in the flow course. First place in the challenge course also. Yeah. Let's see if anybody could top him in the challenge course. I don't know if it's possible because that was an amazing run right there from Xavier. You first wouldn't place. believe that Xavier had shoulder surgery. Turn it to a tick, 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 boom, yeah. 